Welcome. This is a brief introduction to uh, how assignment works. We're used to the assignment statement and we said it resembles algebra, <clears throat> an equation where on the left hand side we have a variable and on the right hand side we have an expression that's used to calculate a value to assign to that variable. Let's look at the code that we see. We see an integer x, it has an initial value of 3, and we want to change the value of x by the expression 4 times 2.5 minus 3. And the assignment statement really is a three-step process because the statement itself has three parts has a left-hand side, which is a variable that will be changed. It has a right-hand side, which gives uh, the rule for calculating the new value. And then in the middle, we have an operator which says take the value that you get on the right-hand side and store that value into the variable on the left-hand side. So let's walk through the process. The expression 4 times 2.5 minus 3 yields a right hand side which is a value 10.0 minus 3 which is really 7.0 which in this case is a float value. That completes step 1. Step 2 says convert the value to the data type of the variable on the left hand side which is in this case an integer. So what does that mean? 7.0, a float, must be stored as a whole number, which is 7, an int. And the third step is to store the converted value into the variable. The variable x can receive an integer. The value from step 2 is an integer value 7. So we store the value 7 into the variable x. Now notice that in the process of performing an assignment statement, it may be necessary to change the types because at the end of the day, the type of the value that you get must match the type of the variable on the left hand side. C++ does automatic type conversion and the, uh, the rules are pretty simple. Whenever you add two numbers, the types of the two numbers have to be the same. So if I add 1 and 2.5, then either I must change 1 to a float to match the 2.5, or I must change the 2.5 to a 2 to match the int. So, this rule, so, so it is required that values that are operated on have the same type. <clears throat> and here it's this diagram shows you the type of values in the hierarchy of types. You can always take something that's a lower type and change it to the type of something that's above it. And when you do that you you don't lose information. On the other hand, if I go from a float to an integer we've already seen that we must drop the decimal place. So as we move down the hierarchy, it is possible, it is often the case that you lose information. Now, <clears throat> the automatic type conversion is called coercion or forced type conversion. There are two forms, promotion, where we move up, we move from a type down here to a type above it. The second is demotion where we convert to a lower type. If p is a float variable and if I assign the integer to p what must occur? Remember I must evaluate the right hand side which produces an integer. I must convert the integer into the data type of the left hand side which is a float and then I store the float 7.0 into the variable p. The same type of thing occurs with the demotion. 
And here's some of the coercion rules. If you have a data type, in character short or unsigned short, they're automatically promoted to int. When you have two values of different types, the lower type value is always promoted to the type of the higher one. And that's done when we are evaluating the expression on the right hand side. When it comes time to do the assignment, the expression, the value of the expression on the right hand side must be converted to the type of the variable on the left hand side. Sometimes that will involve promotion, other times it will involve demotion. It is also possible to explicitly control the type conversion. The process of of explicitly stating the conversion to perform is called typecasting. The statement that's used for typecasting is called static cast uh, and is written in this form. The word static cast must appear as you see it. The square brackets that you see, excuse me, the angle brackets that you see must always be given. Inside the angle bracket, you, you place the data type to which you want to convert. Uh, again, back to the format. After the angle brackets, you must put in parentheses the expression whose value you want to convert. So what does that mean? It means down here we want to output the result of converting the number 16. That's the data type. That's the expression that we're going to convert. We want to convert it to a data type care. In this instance, what is displayed is not the number 15, but the character A. So we have converted from a number to a character. Uh, we see this in detail that uh, when we want to output a character called care, we are first converting it to a data type int. So in this case, instead of printing out the letter C, we're going to print out the number that corresponds to a C, which happens to be a 67. Again, we have another example. If area is a float, then the expression area divided by 500 is a float. Because when I divide, I must promote the 500 to be a float. So in parentheses, we have float. We want to convert the float to an int. So that the result of everything on the right-hand side will be an int. All right. A similar thing is true here. We want to wrap up now. Uh, in old versions of C, another uh, way of doing the typecasting is to put in parentheses the data type to which you want to convert, followed by the expression whose value you want to convert. So this basically says, take the value of volume, which is a double, convert it to an int. The assignment statement says, once I have made the conversion of double to int, we then store the value into int vol1. In this case, int vol1 is an int. The value that we get here is an int, so we can store it without any further ado. <clears throat> let's talk quickly about, um, let's end here. Let's end here.